Hey, welcome back to the Guillemot Kayaks Workshop. I'm Nick Schada and I'm working on finishing up the Micro Bootlegger Sport Strip Built Sea Kayak. So as I record this introduction, it's July 17th. I recorded most of this video back in June 18th. Since then, I've done a lot of stuff. I've actually finished up the boat and I cut strips for a class. I went to a wooden boat show, I taught a class. And the one thing I didn't do was actually record an introduction to all this video. I've got a little bit of stuff but for now, let me just say I'm leveling out the surface of the varnish after the past two episodes where I applied a two-part brushed-on varnish onto the deck and then the hull. So at this point in this video, I'm just sanding that varnish smooth and level. There were a lot of sags and drips, and so now I'm just trying to knock off all the high spots and get a nice uniform matte finish over the whole boat. So I've had the boat sitting outside to cook this uh, finish and get it good and hard so I can sand it out. Now I'm going to hit it with a 220, level the surface, and prep for the final coat. You can see in the reflections here, there's a lot of wiggles on those edges. That's brush marks and dust and so forth. You see lines from the dust marks there. Back here, it's all rough as well. Um, back in here, you see that, that reflection a lot of wiggles to it. So I could probably use a power sander on this, but I'm a little concerned about uh, burning through the finish. So I'm just going to hand sand it with a, not the full long board, but a somewhat long board. Just, I feel I have a little bit more control with this than with the full long board. Um, just, I can see what I'm doing at both ends of the sander. So here you can see the sags and brush marks and so forth. We're just trying to sand those away. So this uh, varnish material is sands to a pretty nice dust, um, which means it's pretty hard. It does gum up the paper a little bit. Um, I, I could wet sand instead, which would tend to avoid this gumming up. Um, but the sand paper still seems to be working pretty well. Having the dust collection in the sanding block helps a lot. Um, sucks a lot of that dust away before it has a chance to sort of bind together on the surface. Um, but I'll keep changing out the sandpaper fairly regularly and we should keep it all under control. So again, notice I'm not sanding past the feature line here, past that hard edge. Um, I want to, again, maintain that hard edge as much as possible and it's super easy to sand through the finish on a sharp edge like that. So I will come back when I'm done with the uh, block sand and you'll come back with a scotch bright to remove any glossy spots that might remain.
So I've got it all sanded out to 220. I vacuumed off the dust and I wiped it down with a uh, wax and grease cleaner. Um, so it should be clean and basically completely ready for the final finished coat. A um, couple things to think about as I was doing this. Um, I was mainly sanding out drools um, or sags, places where the uh, finish was on a little bit too thick and gravity pulled it down. But the thing to remember is why are we putting a finish on this boat in the first place? And the reason is for UV protection to protect the epoxy. So we're not putting the finish on to make it look pretty. You know, despite the fact that it does make it look pretty, that's not why we're doing it. We could have made it look really pretty with the epoxy. Um, so the reason we're putting the finish on is to protect it. And the way it protects it is through the thickness of the finish we're putting on there. So there is no point in sanding off the whole finish. Um, but what you, what I've done here, putting on a bunch of coats of the finish, building it up, and then sanding that level does a good job of providing a good thickness of finish. And then to make it pretty, this last coat, hopefully I'll be able to get it on with a minimum of mistakes and it'll look really nice. So the next episode will be applying that final finish. Um, my plan is, if everything works out, to do it outside with the rattle can, um, spray it on there, and call it done. Hopefully that works out great. We'll see. So that's all I had to say at the time of recording the original video. And at this point, I know how it came out, but I'll leave you in suspense for now. But as we're drawing to the close on this particular build of the Micro Bootlegger Sport, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to be doing next, and there's going to be a lot going on this summer, so I'm probably not going to get to everything. But if you haven't discovered it yet, I do have an Instagram feed at Guillemot Kayaks, and I also have a Facebook page at Guillemot Kayaks. And so if you're looking for content in between the times I record new videos for YouTube, there's probably stuff happening there. This is going to be a busy summer, and after that, I'm not sure what my big project will be. I do have a project for this winter, but we'll talk about that later. But if you like what I'm doing here, and you want to see more of this sort of stuff, any support you can provide is great. Give me likes, subscribe, just watch the whole video, um, share it. Share it with your friends, share it on Reddit, whatever you do to share it. Um, Put it up on Facebook if you're enjoying it. Uh, let other people see what I'm doing here. The more people that see it, the more worthwhile all, all this effort is for me. And if you're really into it, I really appreciate the support on Patreon. I've got a lot of great support there, and it's really nice. And I'm really thankful to those people. But whatever kind of support you can provide, I really appreciate it. Thanks very much. So, until the next episode, thanks for watching, and happy paddling.